When I was young, my dad would take me camping. We'd look up at the stars and he'd tell me of strange worlds that no one had ever seen. I thought they were just bedtime stories, but he swore they were real. He was a famous scientist back then. People knew him as Crazy Dr. Wright, the man with wild theories on unexplained phenomena. His peers found him eccentric. They made fun of him, but he didn't care. Expect the unexpected, Ellie, he told me that day, 20 years ago, when he went on an expedition to prove one of his theories. That was the last time I saw him. An earthquake struck his campsite, and his body was never found. Now here I am, all grown up, on an expedition of my own. I'm a botanist now, specializing in plant exploration, discovering new species. I've spent the past two decades proving my own name in science. But for the first time in this cave in Oceania, I encounter something that science can't explain. And suddenly, after all these years, I think my dad might have been right. The portal opened up in front of me, inviting me in. It was unexplainable, illogical, but also incredibly beautiful. It was everything my dad believed in, right before my very eyes, and everything I had tried hard to forget. It was my curiosity and my desire to connect with a father I sorely missed that led me to do what I thought I never would. I disappeared. If only my fellow scientists could see me now. Crazy Dr. Wright, that's me. But if I could find a way home and take all this new information with me, I could prove my father and I weren't so crazy after all. I had so many questions for Ian. Who was he? What did he do at the university? He sounded like a scientist, like me. Did he know my father? If only I knew the dangers that faced me, Ian would have been the least of my worries. Still no sign of the Outlander? All right, let's get moving. The Queen will want a full report. We've been spotted. Cassandra's warriors are about to intercept us. Ellie, quick, hide. Cassandra can't know about you. Sam, go and get help. I'll keep the research out of sight. I've heard reports of an outlander who claims he is from the land called Earth. Is it true? What do you know about the portal? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just a simple villager.
<laughs> Nonsense! You cannot fool me. I will use that portal, and you will help me find it. Guards, take him to the capital. The rest of you search the ship. Take everything related to Earth. If you find anyone, take them as well. I thought it was just legend that we came from a portal, from somewhere the ancients call Earth. I didn't want to waste time searching for it when our village needed to focus on a way to survive. When Ian came, he was the first real proof that Earth was out there. I told him to stay low and keep his studies out of sight. Talking openly about Earth would only get him in trouble. I don't know how Cassandra found out. Surely no one from our village told her. If she took Ian, she must want to use the portal herself. Our only chance to save Ian is to find the portal first. I found the spore Ian was looking for. But how did it get underground? And why was it in the hands of a rusted mine bot? To find the mother plant and a way back to Earth, I needed to find the next spore. The mine bot belonged to Gustav, head of Aquiu and Ian's trusted friend. Maybe he could tell me where these spores came from. My apologies, Outlander. I was not entirely truthful with you. That spore and the portal is my life's work. I can't simply let you take it. But I did promise you will see in again. Allow me to take you directly. what we have here, delivered straight to my doorstep. Guards, please welcome our guest to the capital. You're awake, good. For the last time, Outlander, where is the portal? You still won't talk? Fine. Maybe a few more hours of isolation will help clear your judgment. Guards, drop the cage.
Ellie, I'm glad you're all right. I've finished my research and... Wait, what do you mean you know where the portal plant is? Of course! The cave you saw would hide the plant perfectly. This is it, Ellie! We can go home! Expect the unexpected. This whole journey has been incredible. I wondered about my father just then. If he faced the dangers I was facing now. At least I wasn't alone. But if I knew what was about to happen, would I still have gone into that cave? Look out! Stay where you are, Outlanders. That portal is on my land and belongs to me. You're never going through that portal, my queen. You know nothing but battle and conquest. You don't deserve to go to the land of Earth, but I do. You're a fool, Ellie. Just like your father. He's alive, and I can tell you where he is. If you let me go through that portal. No! Don't trust him! Get out of here, Ellie! Use the portal! Go! The portal went haywire. There was nothing we could do. Just when I found out my father was alive, and somewhere on Botanica. Just when I didn't want to leave, the portal swallowed us whole and took us somewhere I didn't expect. But I can tell you one thing, it wasn't home. Let me start from the beginning. My name is Sam. I was flying with my dragonfly, Eddie, trying to find my friends Ian and Ellie. There was some kind of trouble in the capital. Soldiers were running everywhere. I tried to fly away, but it was too late. They saw me. I thought I was done for. But then I found the one person who could help me get home. And that's how I found him. A mysterious old man living high up in the floating rocks. He just called himself Joe. I told him everything I knew about Ian and Ellie, and that they were captured by the Queen. He was really interested. He asked so many questions. He agreed to help heal Eddie on one condition. He made me promise never to tell anyone who he was or where I found him. He wouldn't answer any of my questions, but something about him was really familiar. My guess is he's from the Outland, just like Ian and Ellie. I guess I'll never know. My little Ellie, she's found me at last. But a terrible catastrophe is about to happen to Botanica. I must find her before it's too late. Hold on, my daughter. <laughs> 